Hi everyone. Picked up this Wi-Fi endoscope off eBay. Here's the listing here. And I paid $21.99 with free shipping. And it depends on how much you pay as to how long the coil of wire is. I got the three and a half meter one. I figured that would be long enough to send down most tubes. I'm primarily thinking about using this for plumbing or auto mechanic work, looking at uh, the condition of heads or if I lose something in a bad spot, you know, and I couldn't refuse the price. So anyway, let's open up this Wi-Fi endoscope and see what we get for our money. I don't expect much for $21.99, but hey, you never know. I'll mention that uh, they also offer this without the Wi-Fi capability and that's this little box here. This actually has a built-in battery that's rechargeable and you can plug your endoscope into this and then this will send out a little signal that you can pick up on any Wi-Fi device like uh, Android or PC or uh, a Mac and start streaming. If you get it without the Wi-Fi module, it's considerably cheaper. This is just a little cord uh, to do the charging. One of these is for charging, the other is for the scope itself. And here's the model that I got, the uh, three and a half meters of wire. On one end there's a uh, USB connection, and on the other end there's the camera itself. It has LEDs, There, I think there's six of them around the outside there. And this is waterproof, you can put it in water. On the cable near the USB connection there's a, a little box, it has a clicker button. I'm assuming that's for taking pictures or something like that. And then there's a volume type knob and that's to adjust the intensity of your LED lights. So that would plug in like that. See what happens. Hey. And this is blinking, probably meaning it's ready to connect. And I'm turning this volume control knob potentiometer and it's it's um right at the end of its range where it turns quite a ways but the last bit of it doesn't do much. I can turn it off all the way to bright. Seems like there's a lot of travel there but right in this last part is where it gets touchy. But it does work. That's the brightest. That's the dimmest and then off. So yeah. Let's see what else we have in the box here. There's a cleaning cloth for cleaning all the crud off the front of it. If you run this down through pipes, you're probably going to get crud on it. So this is just like a soft cloth. In this little goodie bag here, we have suction cups. With sticky tape on the back, so you could stick that on there and then probably stick this to another surface like your computer or phone. There's two different sets of those. This is a magnet that's designed to go on the front of your scope like this for picking up objects and then this one is the hook. So you can hook things as well might be useful. And then there's this plastic bit here, a little plastic ring, and that's how you would attach these items to the scope itself. So I'm assuming you would put it in like that and then slide it over. 
Yeah, that does slide over. We'll deal with that in a minute. And then this is a little mirror to uh, give you a 90 degree view on the side walls. And this is threaded. So let's see if I can get this on here. Yeah, that just screws right on. Oops. Now it's a. Uh, you can probably see the LEDs in there. So that's pretty nice. Anything else? That looks like about it. And then there's a user's guide. It's probably not very good. Just shows the buttons. There's the uh, features and the specifications. So the first resolution that's listed is um, 640 by 480, which is not that great. But it also goes up to 1280 by 720, but the frame rate will probably really drop. Six adjustable lights. There's the waterproofing. And the transmission distance, the Wi-Fi distance, is 5 to 30 meters. So that ain't bad. There's a 700 megahertz battery in there. Yeah. It just shows you all the different devices. Basically anything with a Wi-Fi. Now the downside to this product with most Chinese products as well as the software, it's probably gonna have pretty crappy software. Okay, here's how you use it with your phone. Here's how you can use it wirelessly with like a Windows computer or Apple. You can scan these codes and they also give you a website and the software is probably pretty basic we'll load it up and see what we got and that's what's included with the kit here they call the suction cup suckers <laughs> so anyway let me uh, get a device out and we'll see if we can't connect see if this works I was just playing around with these attachments and using this little plastic ring it just sits in there in the sleeve okay so I went to the Play Store and I loaded up the software off Google Play and the first thing that you're supposed to do is to connect to the Wi-Fi signal so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and when this starts blinking it's looking for another mate the nice thing about this is you can actually connect two devices or more at the same time to it. It's got a built-in little web server, which is pretty cool. So we'll scan for that. Here it is here, it's ZCF, and I'm getting really good bars with it. Of course, it's right next to it. I'm going to connect to that. and it's connected and then I can go back and find the software where to go oh, it almost bit me it's right here Wi-Fi view is the software hey look at that does it go like that or does it go like this that's not too bad actually the refresh rates really laggy I would say it's just maybe three or four frames a second is all I'm getting in the instruction manual it said that uh, you know two to four inches is its optimal focus point so if you're trying to look out into the room with it it's not gonna be that great because the focus is set for close up there it is looking at that speaker and you can see it's out of focus but if I get right down here on this mat look at that that's pretty good okay so I want to play with this little wheel for the adjustment of the light and see how it works so I'm going to spin it as I'm looking at this piece of plastic
so we're we're under these uh, camera lights right now so it's not making much of a difference but you can see the color change and the aperture stops down as I make it brighter so it adjusts itself out now if I put this in my hand look at that that's pretty neat and that's my hand completely closed so yeah I can really see some great uses for this actually I'm surprised at how well it works for the money it has a few items that you can do you can take a picture you can start recording video and it has a little timer up there you can see how long you've been recording this just takes you to uh, your library where it saved off like I just took that picture there it is that's not bad actually what else we have here and settings so there's the name of the hotspot Wi-Fi your password this is where you can change the resolution it's listed that it doesn't even go up this high it's 1280 by 720 is the highest so this must just be an all-purpose software for different cameras and you can choose if you want to save it to a, an external or you know right on the phone itself and button align let's see what that does so that just move these buttons to the other side that's not a bad picture though really that's more than adequate for finding something down the drain or something like that let's shove you down in this speaker port here I'll just shove it right down in there we'll see what's inside here yeah you really need to take a piece of copper or something and put it on this wire because see you can't control it when you hold on to the wire from a distance so in we go going in. I don't know if I'll get it out, but it's going in. Can we see anything yet? Let's turn up our light. I seen something. What's that? like the back of a speaker, don't it? It's just made out of that fiberboard. There's a corner. I could play with this all day. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty far into the speaker now. What's that? Who knows? There's a wire. That's pretty clear there. I hope this is showing up how clear that is. That is really good. Alright, hopefully I can get it out of the speaker. Uh oh. Yeah, got it. Well, I figure. We might as well test it and see if it's working waterproof wise. So I have some water on the bottom of this container. Let's put it in and see what happens. Going in. That's probably what it would look like inside a pipe, huh? Let's see, is it in the water yet? It's in the water. Can we see through the water? Back it up just a little. Yeah, you can kind of make it out. Looks like bubbles. And it's still working, so that's a good sign. I've had this on now for, what, five or ten minutes, and it feels slightly warm. 
of course I just did put it in that water but it was about the same temperature before I did so it doesn't get real hot but it does get warm because of those LEDs and whatever's in here electronic wise so overall what do I think about this endoscope I think it's good I mean for 20 bucks what do you want for 20 bucks if you need something a little more high quality by all means spend more but uh, for just the occasional use I think this is just fine to have in your toolkit and I like the fact that uh, this Wi-Fi module is separate and I don't have to rely on it to uh, plug into a device I can anything that has a Wi-Fi signal can read a Wi-Fi signal will work so yeah it's not the best and the frame rate certainly suffers but uh, I think the image quality is there now if you need something that's not so close up this wouldn't be for you but uh, this does excellent close-up work as you can see I mean it really it really gets right down in those fibers and two I play around with musical instruments like guitars and stuff and like to fix them and things like that I could shove this down there and check for glue joints let me go get a guitar and see how that would work out okay so I have an acoustic guitar here and I'm gonna put the probe inside it and see what we get the only problem with this now that I'm probing with it is the wire is flexible so you need to put this on a stick or something like that you can see the um, the woodwork inside the guitar I'm right inside now and that box right there is the actual equalizer on the side of the guitar the frame rate is suffering big time that is a problem because when you make a move you don't see your move until couple seconds later you can see the wires that's pretty neat though let me see if I can play with this adjustment this brightness I'll turn it all the way up you can see the binding So there you have it. I won't take up any more of your time. Either you love it or you don't. This is a, you know, a roughly a $25 boroscope or endoscope or whatever you want to call it. And hey, for the money, I think it works just fine. I'll play around with this and see what else I can do with it. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick up your own. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.